What is going on guys, BT1 here, and um, a couple of days ago, uh, we just hit a huge milestone on my channel, uh, we hit 1,000 subscribers, that number means so much to me, that is a lot of people, and it's a very big number, so thank you guys so much for that, that's what this video mainly is going to be about, me thanking you guys for all the support, and everything that, all the comments, all the likes, and everything, um, it means so much that I finally made it this far um, so thank you guys for that I'm so grateful for all you boys and girls out there that subscribe to my channel thank you very much I mean that from the bottom of my heart I mean so much like seeing my channel grow and all the support it means a ton I, I, I'm just lost for words for thank you guys it just means so much but that's that's one topic I want to cover on this video and then another is I want to talk about um, I want to give my honest opinion on Clash of Clans and how, well, like, for the future, what my channel will become, what I plan on uploading, and all that. Uh, just to give you guys an idea for my channel in the long term. Um, just so, just so you know what to expect. So yeah, once again, thank you, every single one of you. Um, it means so much. For my honest opinion on Clash of Clans. I'm just gonna say this, I believe it is a dying game. It's been around for, I think, almost a year and a half now, and I've only had it for probably a year, but I believe it is towards the end of its life because I, I can see it with my, my second account, and my it's like at a Town Hall 7, I'm around a thousand trophies or somewhere in there, and uh, I don't really play it too often, or play on that account too often, and my mines and pumps are usually always full on that when I don't check it. So usually, if your if your mines and pumps were full, you'd get attacked like all the time, like that, like like as soon as you'd log off, or people would find your base, or you get raided for a bunch. But now that's really not the case down in those that lower trophy range and lower bases. That's because I'm finding that not as many people play it down there, and uh, I can see it with my firsthand experiences um, with people at my school. We had this clan, it was the Cleef Steamers, or my friend was a clan leader, and like basically everyone just like stopped playing in that clan. That's why I left it. They got kind of mad at me, but there wasn't enough activity or anything in that clan, um, and so uh, that's what I'm seeing, like, not just in my in that own clan, but in Clash Clans itself, that not as many people are playing the game. I still enjoy it. I enjoy it more than most other people, I guess, because I still play it a lot. I mean, I joined this clan now, the hashtag Clash Army, and it's full of uh, active people, so I still get a pretty fun time playing it. So I'm going to continue uploading Clash Clans until the very end when absolutely nobody plays it anymore, but I don't really see that happening. it will always be the diehard, and as long as Supercell keeps making updates for it, because that's what a lot of people just play it for now, it's to see what else is new. Uh, but they really haven't added anything that's like change the playing field of Clash Clans that makes it kind of feel like a different game or just makes it new, feel new enough to keep wanting to play it. That's just my honest opinion. I believe it's a dying game. Supercell can change that by, I don't know, I don't know how, but their new game, I, I, I don't know, on Clash Clans. I, I'm still going to play it though, so don't worry about that and upload videos on it if that's what you like. But uh, their new game, Boom Beach, I think that Supercell is focusing more on that more than Clash Clans itself, so that's another reason why I think um, Clash is dying. But uh, Boom Beach is a great game. There's so many new features in it that are amazing. Like It's kind of just like Clash Clans, but it's not. It took like everything wrong about Clash Clans that were like frustrating, and it made it into the new game that makes it a lot more fun to play. Um, like say you're attacking and you have extra troops left over for Clash Clans you wouldn't get them back but for uh, Boom Beach you get them back and everything also the, the upgrade times really are not that long I'm already like at the halfway mark for the town hall and they're really not that long at all and it's not very hard to even get wood or whatever you need to upgrade the stuff so when that launches for US I think it'll get hit some popularity, but if they don't make like a multiplayer where people can interact with each other, I can't really see the game growing to be that big. 
like unless they make like colonies or something kind of like the clan and clash clans uh they just need some interaction between people and then the game will be successful i think because it's it's pretty fun to play i play it just as much as i play clash clans right now so boom beach look for that the game to be coming out in the u.s if you want to get it early just make a canadian apple id that's what i did and then you can sign out of that and then you can still play it like normal but for that for later on in the future i mean like i think september here i'll, I'll give you some background when i first started playing xbox i played halo 3 that was my favorite game that's what got me into the gaming world pretty much well not like not considering like game boy and mario and all that stuff but the console games so halo 3 was made by bungie which was like halo, made halo 1 halo 2 and halo 3 and they were like the halo 3 was my favorite game by far they they sold their game to microsoft and this calm studio called 343 industries um, so they sold out on halo and they gave it to 343 and microsoft to make halo 4 or no halo reach no halo 4 and then the upcoming halos um but halo reach was kind of like the death sentence for halo because it was wasn't a very good game they hyped it up so much and it wasn't what everyone thought it was going to be so halo started dying out and then halo 4 I, I it's pretty fun but nobody really plays it so halo franchise has just died off pretty much completely i mean for that clip i just showed you i got an overkill there was only like i don't know 20,000 people online which is not a lot at all for a new halo game but halo 5 will be coming out uh soon um for the xbox one i love halo 5 or i love halo a lot so i'm pretty sure i'll try that game out but i'm really like is the bungie that made halo 3 they are making uh what's it called destiny with a, a call of duty maker i forget who what the name is but they combined it to make this game called destiny which is going to be coming out in september of 2014 so I'm really looking forward to that because I like Call of Duty and I love Halo and the original makers of Halo are making that game so I'm super excited about that so you will definitely see me playing that game because I was uh, actually pretty good at Halo um, and Call of Duty so um, I'll see, see how popular that game gets uh, I'm probably gonna upload some I don't know try and grow a fan base for that on my channel for destiny before the game comes out um because that's what you want to do when you start out uh if if any of you like halo or call of duty i'm pretty sure you like the destiny game so i hope you're excited like that as or excited for that as much as i am uh, and then i just i don't know why i threw this clip in here i just threw some flappy bird in here i'm most of you probably know what that is but it's super frustrating so I, I don't know just had to throw it in here just for kicks but uh yeah so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna still be uploading Clash of Clans maybe some Boom Beach Halo 5 Destiny um, Call of Duty here and there I know you could, there's a lot more bigger YouTube channels out there that upload Call of Duty so you could just go watch them like T Martin or uh, White Boy 7th Street uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thank you again so much. And I'll see you guys later.